Hi guys, welcome off to off the 10th Beer Reviews. My name is Chris and today we're going to take a look at the beer from the Rorschach Brewing Company out of Toronto, Ontario. Uh, today we're taking a look at Truth Serum. Uh, Truth Serum is a, draw, a double dry hop IPA. It's coming in at 1%. one, one, one percent. It's coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume and it's in a 473 milliliter can. Ingredients in here are water, malted, uh, sorry, water, barley malt, uh, oats, hops, and yeast, the huge, you know, uh, true serums, the first born child of Rorschach, Rorschach, blah, 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 don't care, don't want to read the tasting notes on there at all, so let's get into this beer right now, okay, double dry hopped IPA, should be pretty good, should be pretty hazy, which it is, which is a good sign, All right, so no, put the eye there, put the eye in the fucking camera. All right, so it poured off with about a finger and a half of a condensed bubbled white head on there. Uh, it's looking yellow and look, going into a little bit of orange, lighter orange, I guess. Uh, yeah, it looks the part. It's nice chill haze on, on the side of this glass because this is probably fucking ice cold. It's been in my fridge for a while, so let's take a smell. Oh, it's a hoppy one. I like it. Double dry hop for sure. Oh, we're picking up all the tropical notes. Just like every hazy IPA that I've been drinking nowadays. And this is why I stopped drinking them for a while. But you know what? It's the summertime, so I might as well drink them now. So, all right. Picking up. Oh, this one has this one has a little bit of a melon smell to it as well as pineapple, orange, grapefruit, all the yadda yadda yadda, all that stuff in there. Yeah, it smells fucking delicious. I want to drink this one. Cheers! All right. Yeah, the body of this beer is deceiving to what you're seeing. I'm, I was hoping, okay, please have a big body on this beer. You know, six and a half, right? Is that what I said it was? Fuck, I can't remember. I just fucking read it. Yeah, six and a half percent. I was hoping this way have a bigger body than it does, but it's not. It's on the very low end of medium. Which I guess is appropriate, but I was kind of crossing my fingers and hoping that maybe this might have a big body on it. And it doesn't, but that's okay. Because we're going to talk about the taste in a second. Uh, before I get into the taste, let's talk about the carbonation. It's sticking around. It's not super effervescent and super carbonated. It's moderately carbonated, which is very nice and very easy to drink. Um, let's talk about the taste now. Yeah, the smell is a lot more bigger, more bigger, a lot bigger in the nose than on the taste. Everything that I smelt on the nose is in the taste. However, it's very dialed back. Like this would be considered, I guess, a session IPA because it's super easy to drink. It's the, the, the flavors are muted and stuff like that, but... You could crush these all day, but unfortunately at 6.5%, you can't. You can't really crush these. You can maybe crush three, four in a row, and then you're done drinking because you won't be able to function, I guess. Uh, on the taste, I got melon on the taste. I got the, the or a little bit of an orange citrus kind of a taste to it, as well as a little bit of grapefruit, but a little bit of a sweeter pineapple on this one as well. Definitely drinkable. Definitely... Um, how I would say an easy drinking summer IPA. This is nice, but I buy it again. There's so many more out there that I don't know if I would buy this one again, but that doesn't tell me, like it doesn't say that I don't like it. I actually do really enjoy drinking this beer. It's super easy to drink. And you know, after a hard day's work and sitting down, this is fucking pretty goddamn delicious. So I'm gonna have to score it. Okay, out of 10. Oh, let me think. Rorschach's True Serum. That's good. I'll give it a 775 out of 10. Definitely easy to drink. Definitely crushable. Just uh, a little bit too thin in my in my opinion. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys are sub to the channel, I appreciate you guys more than you know. And if you're not sub, click the sub button. 
help the channel out, get some more videos out there for you. Anyway, guys, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.